Hey guys, welcome back to Skylanders Ring of Heroes. Now this is going to be my reroll guide. So for those of you who already know the basic reroll idea and stuff like that, there is one tip in here that is very big to reduce the time from like sort of around that 20 minutes to down to like 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I'll leave a timestamp for that. So if you're pretty much all over how to re-roll in the game, um, but you might not have picked up this one tip. It's a very big one. I'll leave the timestamp for it so you can check that out and just um, and basically just make sure you're optimizing the way you do re-roll. Um, for everyone else, this is the basic way you're gonna re-roll. Um, I'll do the full walkthrough. I don't know, I might even speed some bits up if it's taking too long and stuff like that because it does get pretty generic. Um, but it's around a 10 to 15 minute re-roll and Basically, what you're gonna to wanna to do at the start is you can log in with an ID because you can reset in-game or you can log in as guest. I, I'd personally just go with the log in as guest ID and then just keep resetting. And then once you get um, the Nat5 you want, uh, you can then just basically select that account and bind it to your Hive account, your Google, your Apple, whatever you want. So we're just gonna log in as guest and go in. If you're already logged in, I'll show you after this how you can log out of an account if you're already in one and you've already started and you want to then do it. Um, so you'll go through this video first. You can't skip this, unfortunately, to speed up the reroll progress. So we'll just fast forward through this one and then come back when we get there. So there we go, the video's done. We're just gonna mad tap the screen. We're not gonna talk about what's going on here. It's just, we, we, we wanna do this with speed so you can get to actually playing the game as fast as you can. We're gonna hit the top right skip all the time. Just keep skipping. Uh, Whirlwind is gonna to talk to you, make you skip her, use one of her attacks. Then Hex is gonna talk, we're gonna skip her text and then use her attack. And then here I just spam Hex's skill, uh, first skill because it's basically no cooldown and it kills them the fastest. So that's the way I do that one for a little bit of speed. Obviously you don't have to optimize like this. You can do it however you want. For this one, we're just basically gonna skip, 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 skip. And I found out that I'm pretty, I'm 90% I'm sure that this one is just on a timer. So once you, once you get abilities and you can click them, you can click abilities like mad if you really want. But like I said, it's just on a timer. Like I, <laughs> I, did, a, I did about 30 rerolls and um, I just kept getting, trying to get Chaos dead, but I couldn't get him past that. Uh, I got him down below the last line of health, but you know, it, it's on a timer, so you can just not attack. You don't have to get him to a certain level of health or anything like that. Just eventually, I don't know whether it's once your units get to a certain level of health, whether it is just a timer or once he gets to a level of health. I don't know how many triggers they have to basically start the next phase of this, but just let it go and it will pass. You do have to select an ability at the start though. If you don't select any abilities, it won't work. So we'll go through that. Then he runs, you skip that text as well. And then we come to here, we skip what Eon's saying. You get your, your blades and hot dog, you run through that. Basically just follow everything that's said here um, and skip any dialogue. The dragging of blades is a little bit annoying sometimes. And then we save and then we start. And then for this one, I'm just going to use Blades' Blades' second skill. Normally gets the job done, sometimes doesn't, but then you just go straight into the first skill and you get the kill. And that was such an amazing first battle for the game. So that's that. We just keep plodding along through it, just keep mad tapping, skipping text, and then doing what it tells you. There is a point where you stop doing what it tells you. That's why I'm, I'm sort of doing the full run through. Um, so then, yeah, we just go in. I just spam Blazes. I use Blazes' second ability and then his first one because it's low mana cost, so you can keep spamming it basically. And for some reason in this demonstration phase, the skills have really low cooldowns, so you can just spam one ability. Blades obviously having the elemental advantage here is why I use him. And also once you kill a unit, you get a bunch of mana back. Don't forget that also once you knock them down. So if you're killing some, you can always uh, use your second skill to get more damage yet faster. But that is that for the beginning. Now, after this one, it sometimes seems like it lags out a bit and it doesn't tell you what to do, but don't worry. It's just loading um, the character creation screen. So what'll happen is you'll get your loot and then skip the text. And you'll be like, what am I supposed to do? But it has a long load screen to select your character. Um, 
this bit, I'd make your character what you want him to look like. So just because you can't change it later yet, I don't know if they'll introduce that feature. But my guy, I've just been going with the brown hair. You know, I've got a little bit of a tan, so I go to that next level. And then I hit OK. Then you've got to re make a name. So the thing about making a name is this is the, the most annoying part about it. And I hope they'll make a change to this for everyone's sake that re-rolls. The game can't have two people of the same name, which I'm fine with. It's just even once you delete the data on the account, you still can't take that name again. So if you're re-rolling, hopefully for everyone, I wish you the best of luck to get it on your first roll so you can have the name you want. If not, it just becomes starting to put numbers after it. So if you see, I think the last re-roll I did was Vulcan 35. And then if I go to do that and create, it already exists. So I, I did a bunch of, uh, bunch of ones that I deleted. Uh, let's just go... Uh, let's say 23, which was one I would have deleted because it was along the way and you can't do it. So you're going to have to, you're going to have to, there's no, there's no two ways about it. You're going to have to have different names that you want to use or numbers after your name. And that's going to be the only way to do it. So we'll do that, hit done, create it and roll on. Like I said, hopefully eventually, I know Summoner's Wars, you can pay gems to, change your name so hopefully they bring that in and find a way to discover what accounts have been deleted or you know made inactive or something like that so you can take those names but we'll just have to wait and see so once you jump in um it's once again just skipping con uh skipping the dialect going straight in claiming your stealth elf and then we'll go over and summon her so skip that again summon it's fairly straightforward up to this point. You're just doing what the game tells you and then keep rolling on. And then we go, okay, skip. And then we hit, and then that time you have to hit home because it doesn't give you anything to guide you on it. You go home, you'll get your login rewards, just claim those and then close that. And now it'll go to your questing. For some reason that questing doesn't pop up when you summon Stealth Elf, you have to hit the home button or the back button to get to it. Now this is the big part. So you've summoned your stealth elf, you've gone home, and then it's taking you back to the quests. But this is the big part where it will save you time. I know some people re-roll and they go through the whole quest chain. Actually, I don't know it. I just know I did it for a few runs <laughs> until I realized this. So stop here. Do not claim this reward. When you get to this screen, you want to hit home. And now you're free from the whole guided tutorial stuff. You still get tutorial stuff as you go, stuff that is obviously triggered on entering a stage, but you lose the whole quest progression that you have to do. So now we can go to adventure. Now we can jump into here. You see, you still get the dialect. Obviously you get it from when you get in there, but now we can edit the team, auto play, save, and then start. And as soon as you get to this, this space, this is where it becomes the easy part. You hit auto, you hit times two, and you just let it go. And then basically all we're going to do from here on in is click. We'll, we'll let this one run out, and then I'll speed it up through the rest of it. I think I'll still leave it playing just on really fast so you, you can actually still see what's going on. But you're just going to leave it here, and you're going to hit next. So, so you're going to clear this one. And then you're gonna hit next, and then you're gonna hit go again. And you'll basically do that until you get to the last stage. So I'll keep playing through it, and then we'll fast forward it, and you can just watch my face in the background here as we go.
Okay, so there we go. That took a long time. Uh, my phone was lagging a bit, but hey, we got there anyway. Uh, recording is at 18 minutes, so we did do a lot of pointless talking, but that is pretty much it. Now we get to go to summons and do what we need to do. So I was just playing my re my other account that I was re-rolling for <laughs> while we were doing that. So we collect these, then we get directed. Hugo wants to talk to us. We hit home, and then he's going to show us the summoning portal. So we'll go over there and do that. Here we go, enter the summons. You get your free summon. So this summon's always gonna have a guaranteed nat four in it. So nat fours I'm not too fussed about re-rolling for. I know some people are considering re-rolling for a nat four and not worrying about the nat five, but I'm all about the nat five. So if you were re-rolling for a nat four, you can stop there. It'll make you summon that nat four and then we'll go on so do that okay beautiful skip the text there and then you go to quests once again go to that quest but then just hit home again now we'll go to the inbox and the the whole idea behind the reroll is you need 2400 gems and as you can see pre-registration rewards for the general pre-registration the 500k and the 100k once you collect all of those that will give you the 2400 that you need to be able to do the three times 800 summons. So there you go, that's your 2400. There's other um, compensations and stuff like that in the game at the moment. I don't think they'll be around at Global, but Global, I'm 99.99% I'm sure all those pre-registration rewards will be there and you'll be able to do this. If they're not, then I don't know what I'm going to do in the game, but you know we'll, we'll cover it. If anything changes at global, I'll make a video about it. But pretty much, you just need those 24 because then if we go back to summon, um, here you can hit this eye icon here, and it says the first three points. So the first three 800 gem summons you do after that, you get 50 legendary soul stones for a random Skylander. So legendary is nat five. You get 50 of them, which is how many you need to summon it. So you get a guaranteed nat five. So then you just come in here, and you go buy. Now, if by some crazy luck, you get enough pieces to summon a, a nightlight, uh, sorry, a nightmare, like that, if, if I then get like 30 pieces, uh, uh, sorry, 40 pieces in my next two summons for nightmare, that would be the account I keep. Nightmare is amazing early game, but on these summons, on these reroll summons, you cannot get a light or dark nat 5 from the guaranteed nat 5 scroll so you're going for the different elemental ones so check them out i'll make i think i'll do that in another video i feel like this video is dragged on even though i'll probably edit it and it'll go quick but i'll make another video after this and it'll upload the day after this one and it'll be sort of because i think it'll be a long a long video because i'll talk about the nat 5s that i would re-roll for um so yeah you do those three summons then you hit see here it has claim now so you hit claim now points rewards and there you go that's your free nat 5 you can summon it and that's that's basically the end of the reroll if it's not the unit you want i'll show you what to do now um so that's the tide pool there and okay so if you don't want to reroll you'll go here firstly if you're already logged in um to an account and then you've watched this you go oh, i want to reroll uh you can log out and if you want to do it as a guest um, the logout button will be right next to this help button. Uh, it's not here because I haven't synced this game to anything. But to reset your account, you simply go reset game. Um, wow, I didn't read that before I tried to do it. Double seven, double nine, eight, seven, double seven, double nine, eight, seven. You do that, hit reset, okay. And then you, it's been reset and it'll take you back to that home screen and then you'll be able to do the login as guests. So that is the fastest way I know to reroll. Obviously you could go a bit faster if you manualed some of those battles, but I really just couldn't be bothered. I'd just put it on auto and do something else. So you will once again have to watch through this, uh, this uh, trailer again and all that sort of stuff. And then it's just basically rinse and repeat until you get the nat five that you want. So like I said, um, if you're watching this more than a day after I upload this, hopefully that other video will be out. If not, tomorrow will be when I upload the video talking about the different Nat 5s that I would re-roll for. 
So good luck to everyone in your re-rolls. Once again, I hope you guys get it on your first one so you get the name you want. Um, not like me on the account that I was re-rolling just to test stuff out where I ended up getting it on my 35th run. So um, good luck to everyone. Thanks for watching the video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.